Hello friends, welcome to part 7 of Laravel 12 multiband e-commerce series. In this part, we will validate the admin login form with custom request validation. So in the beginning of the series, I promise to use requests and services for better code structure. So in this video, we are going to start integrating the custom request validation. So these custom request validations help in separating the validation logic from controllers. So that's why we are going to use this custom request validation. So uh, for that, we are going to create the separate file, separate custom request file and uh, for the admin login. So here is the form. OK, so we are going to add the custom request for this admin login form. So for this, we are going to create the separate file, separate request file. In that file, we are going to manage its validations. OK, so let's start. So we are going to take these steps. So first step is we are going to create the login request class. So uh, that login request class we are going to create with the audition command. And there is a specific command for it. Like uh, we used to create model, we used to create controller. Like this we can create the request as well. And this is the command make request. Okay. So we are going to create this request under admin. Okay. We are going to create this login request under admin folder. We are going to keep it separate. So that's why we are going to run this command php addition make request admin slash login request. So the file name is login request that will uh, manage all the validation rules and custom uh, error message for the admin login form. Okay. So this is the addition command that we are going to run to create the login request. So I will go to my project folder, right click and show more options, git bash here and we'll run the artisan command and go to create the login request inside the admin folder as it is later with the admin okay so the login request has been created so i'm going to open the login request so this login request is for the admin so that's why we have added inside the admin okay inside the admin folder uh, inside the request and then admin folder okay so here I will also show you, you the structure ecom12 under ecom12 app then http then you can see the request folder so under request you can see the admin folder and in the front folder we are going to manage the front request means all the front validation and in the admin folder we are going to manage all the admin related validations so now we are going to keep the validation separate from all the uh, all the logics, all the uh, all the functions, all the methods, all the controllers. Okay, we are going to keep it separate. So here uh, we are going to add the validations, and here I'm going to show you uh, that we are going to add these rules uh, for our admin login form. There are two fields in the admin login form. If you will see here, email and password. So we are going to add the yeah, email and password fields here so these custom messages we are going to show uh, so we are going to update uh, these functions uh, there in our login request so we are going to update this function public function rule first of all we are going to update this one rules function uh, we are going to update it here okay we are going to update these rules after that we are going to add the another function and that is for the message for the custom message okay so we are going to add this function as well we are going to align it as well okay so and also here we will write here return true to authorize this validation okay return true in the authorize method so after this uh, we are going to end this uh, login request at the top of the admin controller here we are going to include this login request after this uh, we are going to update the store function to use login request for validating the form so we are going to update this store function see basically here we are required to add this login request at the parameter so here in parameter we are going to add instead of this one we are going to add this login request dollar request okay so rest will remain the same so after this uh, we are going to update the login blade file to display the error message 
here i think we have already added uh, that yeah we have the error message now we are going to show the error message from the validator class so here we are going to add this one as well this error message is from the validator class so because we are going to receive the error message in for each loop uh, here in this one errors all okay so we are going to show it like this so now we are going to check it once that it's working fine or not see we are going to test it with the uh, same username and password here uh, admin at the rate of admin.com has pa password is 1256 okay so if i will click on sign in see it is showing the error email is required and password is required and this error is coming from the login request validator okay so here you can see email is required valid email is required like if i will add this one just for testing that it's uh, working from here only and uh, here i am going to sign in and here you can see the one email is required and you can see uh, the another one that okay that is for valid email that is fine okay so uh, so this validation is working fine i am just testing it because i want to make it sure that uh, uh, this validation is from this page only okay so now we can able to log in see one two three four five six we can able to log in and here i will try to log out as well we can log out as well okay so for the validation we are using the custom request see we have uh, created the custom request validation for the first time and we have done it for the admin login form so for every form we are going to add the custom validation we are going to add the separate file uh, that will manage its validation so uh, see uh, like if we want to modify the validation we are required to open that particular file like if we want to modify the admin login form validation just we are required to open this login request file okay there is nothing you are required to do add the controller file add the controller function just you are required to add it in a parameter okay so i hope that it's clear to you and you can also try doing this at your end and in the next part we will introduce admin service as well okay so in this in this part we have done the request and in the next part we are going to start using the services to separate all admin related logic from the controller okay and also please subscribe the channel youtube.com stack developers for all the laravel updates and for the multi-vendor e-commerce website in laravel 12 and you can also join the channel for the early access of the videos and for getting the complete source code of the multi-vendor e-commerce website in laravel 12 see i can uh, able to send you the source code that we are doing right now uh, if you will join as a member and you will also get the source code of all the earlier series if you are in hurry if you are having some project and you want to finish it earlier uh, then you can also follow my laravel 10 laravel 11 series uh, in which i have built the e-commerce website as well so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye